Hello guys and welcome to the channel. Not that long ago we have made a quite a cool video review of Saigo project. So in the last video we've highlighted what the project is all about, observed all the game modes and mechanics, briefly described the project team and how the game architecture works. In a nutshell Saigo is a move to earn project that takes the concept of Steppen to a whole new level. In the near future, I think Saigo can even become the next hit, not to mention its profit-making potential. So if you're down with me to get some money on your sports activities, think of playing the game right now. In this video, we continue to observe the project and how it has progressed so far. Today, we're going to review the game in details, so you'll find out how to enter the game, where to buy NFT bicycles for playing it, and learn a few details about the rules and gameplay. The project has officially launched and if you want to know more in detail how it can be used and why you should pay attention to this game, be sure to watch this video until the very end. So let's get going. Ok guys, starting off with a friendly reminder. So in case you forgot about the project's concept or you haven't watched our previous video, Psygo is a mobile earning game where players can earn GRT in game tokens that can be used to mint new bicycle NFTs or it can be exchanged for stable coins. The player can rent or sell their NFT bikes on their in-app marketplace. All the user income from tokens is stored in a wallet built in the application with a built-in exchange function. Right now, the project's team is planning to make an airdrop of whopping 500 NFT bikes among all community members just for free. Unlike Steppen, where you can only run, users of Psygo can buy NFTs in the form of bicycles and can earn tokens from walking, running and also cycling. Alright, enough of the cheat chat and the pre description, let's get down to the game. Firstly, to start to play the game, you need to choose your own bicycle that fits your fitness level. So you can choose between leisure, mountain, road and gravel. Each bike differs in energy, amount of earning and the distance that the user can overcome in a day. After choosing a bike, you can start to enjoy the game and support your health obviously. It is not all, so secondly, what all players are required to do is download the app on your smartphone and sign up. Obviously, I think you can't do that. After entering the data, the user should receive an activation code to start the process. After that, the application will offer to create your own internal BNB wallet, so this is a pretty crucial step, I think, if you want to receive tokens as rewards. By the way, if you already have your own wallet and you don't want to create yet another one, it is also possible to import this into the game. The next step is to purchase Testnet Genesis Bicycle NFTs directly in the app and brand them on the platform and also transfer the bicycle to the cycle inventory. That's basically it and now you are good to go out into the streets and start earning money for the benefit of yourself. Isn't that cool? As you know, we've mentioned the modes in our previous video, but let's take a closer look at them. All modes have plenty of entertaining content to make your bicycle rides brighter. First things first, we've got solo mode. In this mode, you can buy special NFTs in the form of a bicycle and get your rewards from moving in the real world. When moving, you receive energy points, one energy point for every 5 minutes of riding. To get some energy, you must maintain speed within the range that correlates to the type of the bike you've chosen and it is the most tricky thing. If you move slowly, the payments will decrease to 10%, or maybe worse if you decide to cheat the system, for instance and using an electronic scooter, this will not play out, you will not get any benefits at all. I think that's pretty much fair. At the same time you're moving, you receive the game's main currency, GRT tokens or Green Ride token. The payouts are based on the type of purchase bike. Each has its own value obviously, like a bike pumping rate, bike comfort rate and speed taken from GPS obviously. As soon as your energy scale ends, you get your income. Then decide for yourself continue moving on for the sake of your pleasure or just take some rest. Next we have tour mode. This mode should be booked in advance, so 24 hours before the event starts. 
So far, there are weekly and monthly tours. So weekly obviously lasts for seven days and you can choose their duration by distance. So it may be 15, 20 or 25 kilometers. Then monthly obviously takes a whole month and they last more. So it's 20, 25 and 30. You can only copy in one round. After registration in the tour mode, you get a doable task and when it's completed, you'll receive your reward. A curious point here is that you cannot repair your bike until the tour is over. So you better take care of this in advance. Payments depend on the place in the participants occupies in the final score table. So that's pretty logical as well. Points are earned according to the bike you choose and the speed you develop along the way. The third mode is called background. And I think this is the easiest mode above them all. All you need to do is just move your two feet. The app will count the steps you take and once you complete 300 steps, you'll receive bonuses for doing so. This amount is not included in the daily limit, but it is simply a reward for your activity. What's really cool about this mode is that you can also earn some local currency in it. Okay, why am I telling you all this? I think this project is very interesting and if you are already moving a lot or just want to change your life, your daily activity, make sure to try this application. I think it's very beneficial. For those who want to start moving more, I think PsyGo can be a great motivator and the first step towards a healthy future. There is even an achievement system so you can track your own progress and also compare it with others. I think that's a great motivator as well as it does it in the most natural way through setting fun and healthy goals. All in all, PsyGo is a good fit just for everybody. So whether you are a professional athlete or just sport enjoyer, I think it's up to everyone. The app offers several modes that I mentioned earlier. So I think everyone can just pick up something up to their liking. In addition, of course, there is always a place for some minting or how they call it nowadays, breeding. If you own a couple of bikes, so what you can do with them is to breed them. The pair of bikes are called vintages or parents. Both vintages must be owned by the user, just not rented and have full durability. And yeah, as I mentioned renting, in Saigo you can actually rent bikes. To do so, renters must complete a series of scientific quizzes to improve their credit score. Once their rating reaches 2 slash 5, they can start renting. By doing this, it is important to ensure that people actually understand all the fundamentals of the app, preventing tenants from underusing or just misusing the app and not making any profit. Okay guys, since our last review, the project has rolled out a new NFT trial ticket update. NFT trial ticket is a kind of a game props launched by Psygo officials for players who have not purchased NFT to experience Psygo app for a limited time. To put it simply, it is a free NFT with a time limit. It is obviously an innovation that perfectly combines both elements of GameFi and SocialFi. During this valid usage period of the trial ticket, you can move to earn just for free. All GRT tokens you earn during this usage period are real and valid and they will all belong to you if you decide to buy this NFT after the usage period is over. I think that's a pretty good entry point for you newcomers. So if you never played M2E games or projects or just hesitant about joining SiteGo, I think that's the best choice to stick with trial ticket. You can experience the game firsthand before actually deciding whether to invest in it or not. If you have already purchased NFT, you can transfer your generated NFT trial ticket to others like your friends. The NFT trial ticket recipient will receive tokens as a reward when completing this process. So just remember this, account registration, um, start cycling and then finally purchase NFT successfully. Above it all, all users can get NFT trial ticket through various stages or activities like uh, Twitter, Discord, airdrops and etc. Moreover, as I said before, it can be shared to you by your friends or users who have already purchased this NFT. Okay guys, so as far as I see, the team does not stop improving the application and making it even more attractive to users. I think it is the second time as we say it, so really like the approach of the project's team towards the game 
and the loyal community and the architecture of the project is just incredible. And now as the application is officially launched, we have just an incredible opportunity to improve our lives and create some passive income out of that. So let's not waste any time, let's not stand still and move to earn.